Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we're grateful and thankful again for this day. We're thankful, God, that you continue to bless us over and over again. God, we're thankful now that every need that needs to be met will be met. We're thankful, God, that you know what's best for us. So, God, we just come with thanksgiving in our heart. We're delighted, God, to be in your presence. We're delighted, God, that in your presence there is such great joy. And we come now, God, knowing that whatever it is that needs to be worked out, God, we know that you will do it. So we thank you in advance, God, for doing it. We magnify you. We glorify you. We lift you up. We thank you now, God, for your son called Jesus, who died on the cross for every one of our sins, giving us a right to eternal life. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today we want to look at a passage of Scripture that comes from Psalm 34, uh, one that is familiar to us that we've heard before, but just want to uh, focus in on a couple of verses on this. Psalm 34 actually looking at verse uh, 4, and may talk about a few others. The Bible says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Be encouraged today that God knows everything that we need. Be encouraged today to know that God will hear and answer our prayers. But what we need to do is, as David did, and this is the same David that Uh, dealt with a lion and a bear, and he dealt with Goliath. But now this David is feeling uh, afraid. He's feeling afraid because we recognize that Saul is is after him, and Saul has a lot of men, but David only has a few men. But this is what's the key to this, and I think this is what we'll use as a thought for today, in his presence. In his presence, even though things around us may be challenging, in his presence, even though things around us, we may feel as though we've been outnumbered. But in his presence, God gives us comfort. He gives us comfort so that we're able to, to withstand. He gives us comfort so that we would be confident in our situation. He gives us comfort, comfort rather, when we're in his presence because we know that in his presence there is the fullness of joy. David recognized this morning that he had to seek God. And see, somebody this morning, in the midst of your situation, we, we've sought people and we, we've tried all things or some of the things that we thought would resolve a situation. But it wasn't until we sought God. It wasn't until we made an effort to get in his presence. It wasn't until we recognized that no matter what I may be trying to get or what I'm trying to do if I don't have God, I have nothing. This morning I encourage you, as David encourages us, to seek God. And as we we seek God, the beauty of this is that seeking him, we know that he hears us. And when we know that he hears us, we know that he delivers us. See, I want to encourage you with this. Now, when God hears you, when God delivers you, it, it may not be the way that you want it to be. But just know this, when you have gotten in the presence of God, and David says all his fears were removed, he now felt comfortable knowing that God would take care of him. See, somebody this morning, you need to know that God will take care of you. You need to know that the way that you seek him is by praying to him. And we pray to him. We're honest when we come in prayer with him. And when we come to God honestly in prayer, we know that God can and God will change and turn our situations around. David reminds us of the joy and even peace. Remember that fear is false evidence appearing real. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we're fearful of that we neglect to enjoy his presence. We neglect to enjoy what God has given to us. We, we neglect to enjoy uh, his, his, his awareness around us, to know this, that if he's done it once, he'll do it again. This scripture reminds us, even here in verse 5, it says they looked upon him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Look, whenever we as believers are in the presence of God, there is something about us, even when we come out, that there is a radiant glow about our faces. There's a smile. There, there's something within. See, that, that something within lets us know, and even those around us, that there's something about them that makes them different. Well, when you've been in the presence of God, you can't help but have a smile. 
you can't help but have a, a different glow. You can't, you can't help but have a different outlook on every one of your situations because remember, God gives comfort. Remember that God is a healer. And because he is a healer, we know that whatever we need, we can go to him for it in his presence. In his presence, we find that we, we are able to, 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 to look at life and to, to see the beauties of life through the eyes of God. And as we see this joy and as we are in his presence and when, we are, when the radiant smiles come from our faces and when we are able to, to relax and to, to, to let go and to let God, we can let go of things that have been trying to trouble us. We can know that God will take care of us. Know this, that in the midst of your very situations, God is there. And when God is there again, that is our peace. When God is there again, that is our comfort. Even when suffering takes place, knowing that God will relieve us of our suffering. Why? Because he's there. Even when we need to be rescued out of a, a situation, then we don't have to fear because we can call upon the name of God, and God will hear, and God will answer, and God will give comfort. I just want to encourage you this morning as you continue to seek God, as you continue to wait on God, as you continue to endure while you're waiting, knowing that God has already prepared a blessing for you. Knowing this, the Bible tells us that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. This morning, somebody needs to know that God has given you and released you from any fear because in releasing you of that fear, he's given you what you need in order to make it through your daily situations. I just want you to be encouraged today that as we are in the presence of God and when we're in that presence, his presence allows for us to have a peace that surpasses all understanding. And when you are in his presence right now, somebody, you will know that God guards and guides our hearts. You will know that there is nothing, as we say, that's too hard for God. You need to be encouraged. Because the Bible tells us, even in that same chapter, verse 8, it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are the man that trusteth in him. What is God saying to us? Oh, taste and see is a warm welcome to us. Because God is saying, try me. Try, try me. And, you, and when you try me and you see how good I am, then in the reality, you would never want to be without me. I encourage you today that as you try God and as you seek God and as you continue to seek him and to believe in him and as you, as you continue to seek him and be comforted by his word, you can have a joy that's an unspeakable joy, somebody, this morning. You can shout hallelujah. You can give high praises because, check, you know that you're not alone in your situation. You, you know that your situations and your circumstances are going to change because God is in the midst. And because God is in the midst of it, he can, he will turn it around for your good. So today, I ask you to make sure that you seek God in all that you do. You want his presence to be in your life. You want his words to be in your heart. You want to be able to shout. You want to be able to express joy. You, you want to be able to smile and to have this joy, this, this radiant look about you. Why? It's because of the joy of the Lord. That is your strength. So today, as we are encouraged, today, as we continue to seek God, today, as we continue to believe, as today, as we continue to trust God, I know this, that God is always on our side. And because God is always on our side, and because God always knows what's best for us, we will continue to praise him, to magnify, and to glorify him. Today, seek him. Seek his presence. And when you seek him and you seek his presence, know this, that he hears and that he answers. Somebody this morning needs to know that it's going to be all right. Whatever it is, it's going to be all right because you have brought it into the presence of God. God has heard it, and God will answer you. So I pray that you are blessed in abundance today. I pray that you continue to seek him and continue to love on him as he loves you because God knows what's best. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you now that we have sought you early this morning, 
And in seeking you, God, we know that you are with us. And because you are with us, God, we know that you turn every situation around for our good. Bless now your people. Let them be encouraged. And let them continue to give hallelujah, higher hallelujah praise unto you because you are worthy to be praised. For it is in the powerful and the penetrating name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, we believe, we declare, and we decree, and we call it to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.